Kerry's would love to hear a little bit more about that journey that you've been on to get where you are. We're super proud to have you as the very first guest of the show. And the, mm -hmm. obviously the, the focus of the podcast is one of two things, depending on who the guest is. First up, it might be a business owner who is willing to share some of the challenges and tribulations that they've had along the way of marketing their own business, what works for them and what doesn't. And for the marketers amongst us who appear on the show, I just want to share a bit of your expertise with other business owners who might be listening. But just before we get there, what's the story? How did you end up running your own marketing agency, Kerry? The short story is that I met my business partner at our previous agency. It was a boutique shop in Seattle, Washington. And it was just the two of us running the media, the digital marketing media department. Display ads mostly. We weren't even in paid search at the time. Display, so big display campaigns for companies like Alaska Airlines, Cedar sinai And there was a company that showed up, a travel company, that wanted this boutique shop in Seattle to run their ads. And the I love this boutique agency. They are wonderful, but they're a creative shop. At the end of the day, they were really good at creative and they happened to have a digital media department. We were a sort of by the way. So when a company showed up and said that they wanted to do just digital ads and no creative, the creative shop was like, this is small potatoes for us. We really want to do run the whole thing. So they turned them down. But my business partner and I were so excited about the possibility because being a travel company online at the time and being able to actually measure ROI end to end through display ads was an anomaly and something we were chasing, having been on the call with some big brands like Western Digital, Cedar sinai like I mentioned, and them going, great, we spent a bunch of money with you now. How much money do we make? And us going, we didn't measure that because we can't, because you're selling your product in Best Buy. But you got this many impressions. Look at how many people saw your ad. We were really tired of having that conversation. So when this travel company showed up and said we could actually measure business outcomes, we jumped at the idea and asked if they were okay with us pitching the business as an independent shop, knowing that we'd be doing the work anyway. And they gave us a shot. And we put together a pitch deck. And we were called MKKG and in a tiny Starbucks in Seattle we sat down with this person and gave them our spiel and we didn't win the business because of some, that sounds like they never actually picked an agency. I don't know what was going on there, but maybe we dodged a blow. But we stood up a company because we were like, what if it comes down? Like, we'll need something. And so we became MKG as an LLC pretty much within a few weeks of that pitch. And my husband had just gotten a job at Netflix and I, we were moving down to San Jose. And so I said to, to my business partner, how do you feel about San Francisco? And he said, let's go. And so we were off. We were down in the valley and we were a business making it happen. That's amazing, Kerry. That's amazing. 